Shabbat Shalom, everybody. My name is Rabbi Shapira. So delighted that you have decided to join us here. Kabbalat Shabbat, welcoming of the Shabbat. We are Shabbat Parashat Itro. What an important Shabbat it is on our calendar. The Shabbat, when we read the 10 words, the 10 commandments, the 10 articles of God, and I hope that uh, today you will be really blessed by this service. If you, you don't know about Kabbalah Shabbat, what it is about, it's a way for us to unwind from the week and to enter in, to enter into another mode, to the seventh mode, to the mode of the Geula, to the world of the garden, to, the, to this time that we are ready to meet God face to face. If this is the first time you are here, I got to tell you over the last few weeks, we have seen that Kabbalah Shabbat numbers have been increasing. It means that more and more of you are actually taking the time to welcome the Shabbat. And this is wonderful news wherever you are in the world. Uh, look, this is a universal thing. It says in the book of Isaiah that in the last days, when Mashiach comes, even the animals will celebrate the Shabbat. So today we ask you to help us to spread the light, to spread this light. What this means to you and I, it means that you are going to our YouTube channel right now. If you have not subscribed, you subscribe and then you hit share, you hit like. So the entire world today will come to the Shabbat. We are broadcasting down on the different two networks all over in the African network. Shalom to Africa on the Spanish network. Shalom to our Spanish brothers, hermanos and hermanas. We, we are blessing you. And today we are going to have a different flavor, a different flavor to this because we are going to have with us a surprise guest, uh, one of the Talmudim. You're going to meet him in just one minute. But before we do that, before we do that, I want to remind you that every service that we do, if it's Kabbalah Shabbat, Shabbat morning, Shabbat afternoon, Motza'e Shabbat, Shacharit, uh, weekdays, whatever it is, this synagogue, this ministry is supported 100% by you. By your, by your generosity. And you don't see us flashing a throughout Shacharit or Mincha or Ma'ariv or Kabbalah Shabbat or in any other. We don't because we really want you just to be here and don't feel you're in an advertisement commercial 
where we're just asking you to support us all the time. But in reality, the needs are growing exponentially all throughout the services and all throughout what we're doing, all those publications. So we're asking you today to remember that one of the things we teach you here is the culture of the Shabbat. Shabbat is not a time that even if you go to somebody's house, in Jewish culture, you never come empty-handed. You always have to come with something in your hand. It's the culture of Israel. So please, today, learn the culture. There is not a single person who cannot bring a gift, tithe, and offering to Hashem. So we ask you today to really consider supporting us. So many funds that need support. If it is the Spanish fund, God bless you. If it is the fund of Africa, thank you. If it is uh, the funds of the scholarship, thank you. Wherever the Lord lay upon you, or you can go to the main fund and trust me, we distribute it all across. And and we're, we're thankful for the opportunity to be here to serve you to minister to you. Um, this is a very important week ahead of ourselves. We don't want to get too much ahead of ourselves, but I do want to bring the Chazan before we start because we do want to talk about what's coming up here in the next few days. Shabbat Shalom, Chazan Golden, wonderful, fabulous to see you as always. It's fantastic. We have a very big project that is starting, formally starting, Next week, it is the Boikala project. I know that you're going to be traveling Sunday already all the way to Florida. This is going to be the new uh, uh, publication in the cantorial um, world, in the liturgical wor world, where we're going to do something very special. We're going to have a machzor for the Kabbalah Shabbat, uh, with a commentary on all the tefillot, and I understand you're going to uh, heading to the studio next week to use, put some very special arrangements and and record some very special things. You 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 want to share a little bit so everybody know what is happening. Everybody can pray for you and and pray for the work that is coming. Yes, Rabbi, thank you. And most importantly, Shabbat Shalom to you and your beautiful family. Thank yes, you. This, this event is quite monumental, uh, especially for the whole Messianic world when the concentration for so many, many years have, has been on Shachrit Shabbat, morning services, where now we have come um, into our own with uh, our, our worship and observance of Kabbalat Shabbat. And we're going to make the music available to everyone so that they themselves can learn it, they can hear it, they can teach their, their people, their kihilot, um, those that assemble with them to observe Friday night worship, and they can use the same melodies, follow along in the siddur. This is a dream come true for me, Rabbi. So, so this is a reality, friends. Look at what it takes to make this happen. We have, we have to support this project. We also have to fly there in COVID, and then the entire studio, although it's been donated, it's cost somebody tremendous amount of money, and we need to support it as an organization. We absolutely do. So all of this is going to come together. And if you're really loving this Kabbalah Shabbat service, when we start Kabbalah Shabbat service, it was so small. And, and to see it now growing like it, it is, and so many people come to Shabbat. It's just a beautiful thing for me to be able to experience it, experience it and to be able to do this first service. And then it's just fueling the Shabbat service and the Avat Olam Siddur that all of you are loving so much already. And, and of course, this is, this is now just being amplified. So friends, this is the work that you're supporting to bring the world in the last days to the house of Israel, to the covenant of Israel. So please uh, pray in this week, safety, of course, for safety, but also for a supernatural time as we have a very important four days 
It's going to be very aggressive schedule to get it all done because the Kabbalah Shabbat, as you know from the melodies, they are complex. Some of them are fairly complex, and and we want to produce them professionally so you will be able to listen to the melodies, put the melodies on your heart and on your lips, and prepare for the ultimate Shabbat, for the coming of Mashiach. Thank you so much, Hazan Golden. In one second, I'm going to turn this to you. But before we do that, we have one more special person here. And I'm sure he wants to give you a very special greeting. He's one of the students of the yeshiva, who is now also the student of Hazan Gordon as well uh, in, uh, in Yeshiva Shuvu uh, 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 International, uh, Ruben is with us today as well. And Ruben is leading uh, actually the very first Messianic synagogue, real Messianic synagogue that we planted uh, in Holland. And Ruben is uh, leading the community. Ruben, great to have you in Ho from all the way Holland. It is very late. I know it's 1 a.m. in the morning for you. But before we start the service, I, I want you to maybe take a moment, just give us a, a greeting from Holland. Uh, just share with us a little bit, what's the Messianic movement? What's it's like? What's happening? Uh, people see us in North America and they think, well, Shuvu is only North America, but it's actually not true because- Absolutely not. <laughs> actually, a lot of great things happening in Holland and, and by extension in Belgium. Maybe you can take just a minute, just share a little bit about your community even, about about you, what's happening in the Messianic movement in Holland before we start the service. Thank you, yes. Robert. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, um, sh Shabbat Shalom and uh, Shalom Alechem. And a special greetings for, for all the people uh, in Europe and especially in, in Holland and Belgium who are now staying up to, uh, to also follow uh, Kabbalat Shabbat. I'm, um, I'm very honored and happy to be, uh, to be able to do this to, uh, to welcome the Shabbat here in Avat Ami Synagogue. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really uh, an amazing opportunity. We're also hoping that uh, we could also uh, start with our Kabbalat Shabbat services in, um, in, in the Netherlands and in Belgium too also. So our synagogue um, is the Avat Alam Synagogue. And uh, we have a, a number of, of uh, synagogues at the moment uh, going under Shuvu Netherlands. So uh, special greetings to the people are, who are watching also from Beitikun, our, uh, our Belgian brothers, and uh, um, Kelat Etschayim, and uh, Kelat Avad Geset, who, is, uh, who uh, just started the uh, beginning of last year. And of course, uh, the Avat Olam Synagogue. Um, yeah, what we see in uh, in Holland uh, and in Belgium uh, is a really a developing. Um, we we uh, we see much uh, more, more and more people coming in uh, in our synagogues, you know, and uh, visit our uh, online uh, um, uh, streamings as well. And that's really great. We're happy with that. Um, we all know there there is there is a heavy burden of of, of Corona measures at the moment, um, laying upon Europe, laying on 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 Netherlands and Belgium, and it can be heavy on people. But still, uh, I just want to uh, to to stress to everyone: if you are able to to come, and and you're healthy, please visit and and try to be there in real because it's uh, it's so uh, amazing to be. Uh, together and and to really serve Hashem in in uh, in the community in the synagogue uh, with the prayers of Israel um, with the Avat Olam Sidor, what we have available there. Yeah, and people should know something that the Avat Olam Sidor has been translated to Dutch. Absolutely, and now and it's we have group. Dutch, and anybody in in Holland or Belgium who is interested can make a contact with us. And this is what the Lord is doing. It's a great job for the entire team, Ruben, for the world. Dan, it, it will be a great thing before we start this Kabbalah Shabbat. If you take a minute and greet everybody in Dutch and send yeah, a greeting yeah. of sweet Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom to Shabbat all, Shalom. to everybody. 
Ja, welkom en Shabbat Shalom. En het is, uh, ja, het is heel gaaf om, uh, om dit te mogen zijn. Dus geniet er allemaal van. En uh, laat de Shabbat binnenkomen in je huis en uh, in je gezin. En, uh, en geniet van het licht en geniet van de rust. Uh, en uh, ja, zorg, zorg dat je er bent morgen. Amen. Amen. Since it's such an international thing, I think I'm going to ask El also to send a greeting in Espanol for everybody in Spain or South America. I promise you. Right now, people are watching from Spain or from South America without a doubt. Give a greeting in, Sp- in Sfaradit, please. All right. Bueno, shalom a todos, shabbat shalom a todo el mundo que habla español. Queremos darles la bienvenida a compartir con nosotros en este Shabbat para estar unidos por toda parte del mundo, recibir el Shabbat en mérito de nuestro Maestro Yeshua, unidos con toda nuestra familia Israel. Bienvenido, Bujilo Bain. Amen. I Amen. think it's not fair. We're not going to discriminate against the Portuguese. So I'm going to ask Aaron to give a Shabbat Shalom to our Brazilian brothers and sisters as well. Shalom, everyone. Shalom. Uh, shalom. Eu quero mandar um Shabbat Shalom para todos. Uh, sejam bem-vindos aqui em Avatami Virtual Synagogue. Um, e... Seja abençoados hoje. Amen, amen. You know what they say? They say that Shabbat is waiting for nobody. And today we ask Aaron to do the lighting of the Shabbat candles that will get us moving to the most awesome experience. We are entering into the garden. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kishanu Bemizvotav Vitzivanu Lehad Nikner Lehad Nikner Shel Shabbat. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom upon all of Israel, wherever you are, whoever you are, it is time to reset our clock with the Chazan to enter into this special time called the Kabbalat Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Ich 
into our worship, and he's going to lead us um, in the singing of Shalom Aleichem and carry us through the first part no, of no. our Kabbalat Shabbat worship. Yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Shalom Aleichem, Ruben, please. Shalom. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharet, Malachi El Yon. Bihi Melech, Malachi Amelachim, Makadosh Baruchu. Boachem Le Shalom, Malachi Asharet, Malachi Elyon, Mi Melech, Malche, Melachi, Makadosh, Baruchu. Zet him le shalom, Malache, a shalom, Malache, Melech, Malche, Melachi, Makadosh. And now we continue with a series of psalms to prepare us for our evening worship, beginning with Psalm 95, as the chazan, our student chazan, will begin by leading us in the Lechuna Ranana. Lechuna Ranana Ladonai Nariya Let's do it. No, in God's hands are the depths of the earth, the peaks of the mountains are God's. God's is the sea, God made it, and the land which God's hands fashioned. Come, let us bow down and kneel, bend the knee before Adonai, our maker, for Adonai is our God and we are the people God tends, the flock in God's care. Oh, if you would but heed God's charge this day. Arba'im shenal kud bedor va'omar am te'o'el levafem vehem lo yader udrachoy asher nizbati v'al pihi im yevahun El Menuchati Shiru la Adonai Shir Chadash Shiru la Adonai Kol Haaretz Sing to Adonai a new song Sing to Adonai all the earth Sing to Adonai, bless God's name Proclaim God's victory day after day Tell of God's glory among the nations God's wondrous deeds among all the peoples 
for Adonai is great and muchly, much acclaimed. Um, God is held in awe by all divine beings. All the gods of the peoples are mere, mere idols, but Adonai made the heavens. Glory and majesty are before God. Strength and splendor are in God's temple. Yeshmechu ashamayim v'tegel ha'aretz amayam umloho yalo sodai v'chol asher bo as yerananu kol atzeyar lifnei Adonai kiva kiva lishpot ha'aretz yishpot evel betzedek Vamim bimunato. Adonai Malach, Tagel Haaretz. Adonai is sovereign. Let the world rejoice. God's throne is founded on justice. Though God be clouded from view, divine justice reveals God's presence. God's lightning illuminates the earth. Fire consumes God's foes. Mountains melt like wax before Adonai. The earth trembles. The heavens proclaim God's righteousness. All people behold his majesty. Shame covers those who worship idols, those who take pride in revering images, which must themselves bow low before God. Hearing of your judgments, Adonai, Zion exults, and the cities of Judah rejoice. You are supreme over all the earth, highly exalted beyond all that is worshipped. Those who love Adonai hate evil. God protects the faithful and saves them from all the wicked. Light is stored for the righteous, joy for the honorable. Rejoice in Adonai, you who are righteous. Acclaim the holiness of God's name. O Ave Adonai, Sine Ura, Shomen Afshot Chasidav, Miadrashaim Yatilehem Or Zaru Alla Tzadik Uli Shelerev Shimcha Shimchu Tzadiki Himbadonai Vodu Lezeher Kocho Mizmor Shirul Adonai Shir Hadash Sing to Adonai a new song, for he has performed wonders. His right hand and holy arm have wrought deliverance for him. Adonai has made known his salvation, Yeshua. He has revealed his justice before the eyes of the nations. He has remembered his loving kindness and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All from the farthest corners of the earth witness the deliverance by our God. Raise your voices in jubilation to the Lord all the earth. Burst into joyous song and chanting. Sing to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and the sound of song, with trumpets and the sound of the shofar. Jubilate before the King, the Lord. The sea and its fullness will roar with joy, the earth and its inhabitants. <laughs> Livne Adonai, Kiva Lishpot Haaretz, Yishpot Evel Betzedek, Vamim Bemesharim. Adonai Malach, Irgezu Amim, Adonai is sovereign, nations tremble, God is enthroned on high, the very earth quivers. Adonai is great in Zion, exalted over all peoples. Let them praise God, for God is awesome, holy. A sovereign mighty rules with love of justice. You alone bring about equity, ordaining justice and compassion for the people of Yaakov. Exalt Adonai our God. Worship God who is holy. Moses, Aaron, and Samuel, God's chosen ones, called out to Adonai who answered them in a pillar of cloud. They zealously strove to obey the divine law, even when God's decrees were beyond their grasp. You responded to them with compassion, even as you rebuked them for their offenses. 
Extol Adonai and bow towards God, God's holy mountain. Adonai, our God, is holy. Adonai Eloheinu, ata anitam, el no se ailatiahem, no kehem alilotam. Romemu Adonai Eloheinu, vishtachavu lehar kotcho, ki kadosh Adonai Eloheinu, mismor. Let A psalm of David, ascribe to Adonai, O divine beings, ascribe to Adonai glory and strength, ascribe to Adonai the glory of God's name, bow down to Adonai, majestic in holiness. The voice of Adonai is over the waters, the God of glory thunders, Adonai over the mighty waters. The voice of Adonai is power. The voice of Adonai is majesty. The voice of Adonai breaks cedars. Adonai shatters the cedars of Lebanon. God makes Lebanon skip like a calf, Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of Adonai kindles flames of fire. The voice of Adonai convulses the wilderness. Adonai convulses the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of Adonai causes cows to calves and strips forest bare, while in God's temple all say, Glory, Adonai sat enthroned at the flood. Adonai sits enthroned, sovereign forever. May Adonai grant strength to God's people. May Adonai bestow on God's people well being. <laughs> Uvecholo kulo o mercavo Adonai la maboyaksha va yeshev Adonai melech leolam Adonai os leamohite Adonai evore and now before we enter the Lecha Dodi, Rabbi, is there something you would like to share this week in reference to <laughs> the Lecha Dodi? You ask this question, Chazan Gordon, every week. And it will be a very... Because I look forward to your response. You know what? The week that we would not have something to say about uh, the Lecha Dodit will be a very sad song, Seventh Shabbat, because the entire Lecha Dodit, it's the picture of the Geula, it's the, the picture of Acharit uh, Yamim and the last day. So we're going to, to focus today. This is something is important, and uh, I'll share a nugget with you, uh, Hazan Gordon, uh, because again, the, the entire song is the preparation for the coming of Mashiach, right? And it says here, Shmo Veschor. I just want to focus today on one word. Shmo Veschor Bedibur Echad. On this expression, safeguard and remember in single utterance. The Shmira, Shmirat Lashon. Do you know that Chazan Gordon, that about uh, two years ago, when the 9 to 5 took place, and the stones start to fall, as I explained in the book, the Bessarai Code of COVID-19, and in, in 9 to 5, when the, the stone fell, a serpent came out of it. Uh, a serpent came out of it, and the rabbis of Israel said, it's the time of Mashiach. It's the time of the Messiah. But then they issue a warning. It was an interesting warning that they issue, especially on 9 to 5. And the, issue, the, the warning that issued by the chief rabbi of Israel, protect your speech. More than anything else, protect your speech. And what you see here, this word, safeguard and remember bedibur echad in a single utterance. The people ask me the question all the time: What can I do to prepare me, me, the kala? You know, we talk about the kala as being Israel all the time, but you know, Hazan Gordon, you represent the kala. 
I represent the kala. Each one of us is a kala. Is a kala. And people ask all the time the question, what can I do? What should I do to prepare for this? And this is what you should do. Shemor vezechor bedibur echad. Well, you, you, how do you make him splendor? How do you bring splendor to the groom? You speak about the beauty of the groom and you don't speak anything that can come out of your mouth that can detract from what you're going to say to the groom. That's why it says in the Brita Hadasha that at the same time cannot bless God and curse God. You think about this? If you curse a person, if you speak against a person, and then you turn and you bless the groom, you did not. You, did, you really tainted the groom name because you already cursed with the tongue somebody else. And this is something that I believe the rabbis were right on. It's time for us to tame our tongue, to close our mouth when we need to, and open it, letiferet veleteila. So, what do we do today? We are, he say here in the song, Hashmi'in et kolech, right? I like it, the way it says in Shira Shirim, Hashmi'in et kolech, ki marech nave, kolech yafe. Let me hear your voice. Well, he cannot hear a voice if the voice is of key, right? It's like me. You heard my, my, my bride sing. So if you like hear me and you hear my bride, which voice you would prefer listen to? It will be hers. Why? Because it's on key. And we need to stay on key spiritually with God. And the way we stay on key spiritually with God is Shmirat Lash. The taming of our tongue, the preparation of the kala, focus on only on one thing. Adonai Echad Ushmo Echad. Don't waste time. Stop being in arguments on the Facebook all day. Stop arguing with people. Stop picking fight and focus on glorifying the name of God in these last days. So who is the Kala? You and I. Let's go through a voice lesson today in the Lechad Odi, and even the rabbi will start, try to stay on key, humming it, <laughs> in expectation that this voice will be good enough for God to hear the voice of the Kala. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Amen, amen. Okay, Reuben, take us through your rendition, your interpretation, all nine verses of the Lechad Odi. Adodi likrat kala penei shabat ne kavla lechadodi likrat kala penei shabat ne kavla shamor vezachor beriburecha ishmiyam nu elam yucha. Adonai echad, ushmo echad, l'shemu tiferet velit hila. Lecha dodi likrat kala, penei shabbat nekabela. Likrat shabbat l'chuv necha, Ki mekor abracha, rosh mi kedem nusicha, sof maase b'macha shavat chila. Lecha dodi likrat kala, penei shabat nekabela. Mi migdash melechi melucha, kumitzi beto afecha, 
Rav lo chashevet Shabbat Shalom. Yamim ushmal tivrotzi ve'et Adonai naritzi al yahariz ben paritzi benish mecha benagila lecha dodi likrat kala benei shabbat mekabela. Boi v'shalom Ateret b'ala Gam v'shimcha Uvtzala Tehu teoch emunei Am Sekula Boi Chala Boi Chala Lecha Dodi Likrat Kala Benei Shabbat Nekabela Mizmor Shir Le Yom HaShabbat A song for Shabbat It is good to acclaim Adonai To sing your praise, exalted God 
to affirm your love each morning and your faithfulness each night to the music of the lute and the melody of the harp. Your works, Adonai, make me glad. I sing with joy of your creation. How vast your work, Adonai. Your designs are beyond our grasp. The thoughtless cannot comprehend. The foolish cannot fathom this. The wicked may flourish, springing up like grass, but their doom is sealed, for you are supreme forever. Your enemies, Adonai, your enemies shall perish. All the wicked shall crumble. But for me, you have greatly exalted. I am anointed with fragrant oil. I have seen the downfall of my foes. I have heard the despair of my attackers. The Barhu. Praise Adonai to whom all praise is due. Praise the Lord to whom all praise is due now and forever. Sadi katama yivra ke eret balav non yes ke shetuli mevet adonai bechatrot eloheinu yavrihu ot yenufun beseva. Dishanim verananim yehu Lagin kivashar Adonai Tzuri velo avlat abo I apologize, we went a little bit ahead and we will continue here with the Baruch Hu. Barhu et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Ba'ed. Barhu et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Ba'ed. <laughs> I think I think I think there was a misunderstanding. Uh, Rubin, you don't get any extra credit for doing the baraku, even though you weren't supposed oh. to. <laughs> but that's okay. I was improvising. <laughs> you are a Talmud Tov, and you'll get an A. But don't worry about that. We're, let us move on for the call, from the call to prayer into the Ma'a Rivaravim. <laughs> Ruben, it's, it's terrific uh, to have you here with us. We pray blessing upon all the Talmudim of the yeshiva in Holland and upon your family. It's just a real joy it's to have 130 cities already with us this evening, all enjoying the melodies. And may Holland and Belgium have those great melodies restored to them in those last days. Great job. And thank you very much. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. So let us move on to the Ma'ariv Aravim. Here we are now. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bidevaro Ma'ariv Aravim, Bechokma Poteach Shearim, Uvitevuna Meshane Itim, Umachlif Et Hazmanim, Umesaderet HaKochavim Bemishmerotehem, Barakia Kirutsono, Bore Yom Valaila, Koler Or Mipne Hoshech, Vehoshech Mipne Or, Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the universe, who by his word brings on evenings, with wisdom opens gates, with understanding alters periods, changes the seasons, and orders the stars in their heavenly constellations as he wills. <laughs> El Chai Vigayam, Tamin Yimloch Aleinu Leolam Ba'ed, Baruch Ata Adonai, Hamari Varavi. You create day and night. You roll away the light from before the darkness, and the darkness from before the light. 
You make the day to pass and the night to approach and divide the day from the night. The Lord of hosts is your name. Living God and enduring continually, may you reign over us forever and ever. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on the evening. Say, Melody, join me. In three books of the Bible, Deuteronomy, Mark, and Luke, we find the Shema. Yeshua was asked, which is the most important commandment? And he answered, as we do now, Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. And Yeshua continued, the second greatest commandment is, Ve'ahavta l'recha kamocha. Love your neighbor as yourself. Oh, 
God and with all my strength. Make it personal now. Sing it again. I will love you, God, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, and with all my strength. With all my heart, with all my soul, with all my God, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, and with all my strength. Baruch Shem Kabod Malchuto Leolam Ba'ed. We continue the Shema with the paragraph in Hona's the Ahapta, and we'll translate that after we chant it. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha bechol levavcha uvechol nafshecha uvechol meodecha vehayu hadevarim ha'ele asher anochi mitzavcha hayom alevavcha. Vishinantam levanecha, vidibarta bam, beshivitecha bevetecha, uvelechtecha vaderech, uveshachpecha, uvekumecha, ukeshartam leod al yadecha, vihayule totafot, vein einecha, uchtaptam. Al mezuzot beitecha uvihisharecha. And you shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words which I, which I command you today shall be upon your heart. And teach them diligently to your children, and speak of them when you sit in your home, and when you walk along the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. And bind them as a sign on your arm, and let them be to feeling between your eyes, and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. True and trustworthy is all this, and it is established with us that he is Adonai our God, and there is none beside him, and that we, Israel, are his people. It is he who redeemed us from the hand of kings, even our king who delivered us from the grasp of all tyrants. The God who on our behalf dealt out punishment to our adversaries and requited all our mortal enemies, who does great things, yea, and wonders without number. Who maintains us in life and does not suffer our feet to slip, who made us overcome and conquer our enemies and exalted our strength above all them that hated us. Who wrought for us miracles and retribution upon Pharaoh, signs and wonders in the land of the children of Ham, who in his wrath smote all the firstborn of Egypt and brought forth his people Israel from among them to everlasting freedom. Who made his children pass through the divided Red Sea, but sank their pursuers and their enemies in its depths. Then his children beheld his might. They praised and gave thanks unto his name. Umalhuto Piratson Kibelhu Alehem Moshe Ovene Yisrael Echano Shira Vesim Harapa Ve Amarola Sing with me Mi Hamoha Edim Adon Let 
מלכות חרעו בניך, אוקיי הים לפני משה. זה אלי הנובע כי ודא אדוני את יעקב וגאלו מיד חזק ממיינו ברוך אתה אדוני גאל ישראל Ashkivenu Adonai, Eloheinu Lichalom, Anideinu Malkeinu Lechayim, Sing with me. Ashkivenu Adonai, Eloheinu Lichalom, Anideinu Malkeinu Lechayim, Ushmor Tzeitenu Boeno, לחיים ולשלום מעתה ועד עולם. ושמור את צאתנו ובואנו לחיים לשלום מעתה ועד עולם. One more time, back to the Hashkivenu. Hashkivenu Adonai, Eloheinu לשלום. עמידינו מלכנו לחיים, עד שירנו אדוני, אלוהינו לשלום, עמידינו מלכנו Grant, O God, that we lie down in peace and raise us up, our guardian, to life renewed. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Guide us with your good counsel. For your name's sake, be our help. Shield and shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Defend us against enemies, illness, war, famine, and sorrow. Distance us from wrongdoing. For you, God, watch over us and deliver us. For you, God, are gracious and merciful. Guard our going and coming to life and to peace evermore. Blessed are you, Adonai, guardian of Israel, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people, Israel, and over Yerushalayim. השבת, את השבת, לעשות את השבת, לדורותם ברית עולם. ביני ובין בני ישראל, אותי לעולם, ביני The children of Israel shall guard the Sabbath day in all generations as a covenant for all the world. Between me and the children of Israel, it is a sign forever that in six days that Adonai made he the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed.
Please join in the responses, and if you know this, sing along with me. The best way to begin is in the beginning. And we sum it all up, the creation story, with this phrase known as the Vayahulu. Vayahulu ashamayim beharats vechol tzevaam Vayom ashviim Asher Asa Vayishpo Vayom Ashvi'i Mikom Melacho Asher Asa Vayivarech Elohim Ed Yom Ashvi'i Vayikadesh Oto Yivor Shavot Mikom Asher para Elohim la Moving into the shortened version of the Avot, we join together in the singing of this favorite melody and familiar melody. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Elohei Avoteinu Elohei Abraham Elohei Yitzchak Elohei Yaakov Ha'el Ha'gadol Ha'gibor Ha'nora El Ha'yon Kone Shemayim Ba'arev Which leads into the Magain Avot The shield of our fathers Magain Avot Bifaro Mechayei Meti Emaro Ha'el ha'kadosh she'ein kamoho Ha'mein niach le'amo B'yom shabahat kocho Ki v'am rahatsa Le'haneach la'hem Le'banan avod b'yirat b'wachat Le'nodelishmo b'chol yom Ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'ha'
بار مبارک شوی و منی احبک دو شاق لیامک دو شنیانه say what happened in the beginning our god and god of our fathers may you be pleased in our rest sanctify us in your commandments and grant us our portion in your torah satisfy us by your goodness gladden us in your salvation and purify our heart to serve you truthfully in love and favor, Adonai, our God, grant us your holy Shabbat as a heritage. And may Israel, who sanctifies your name, rest in it. Blessed are you, Adonai, who makes the Shabbat holy. Eloheinu, melohe avoteinu, God Meshuhat <laughs> Adonai Adonai Our Father in heaven, may your name be sanctified. May your kingdom come as your will is done in the heavens. May it also be done on earth. Give us the bread that is our portion today and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven those indebted to us. And do not lead us into temptation, but save us from the evil one. For to you is the kingdom, the power and the glory for endless eternities. Please join me. Avinu shabashamayim yikadashemecha Tavo malgutecha yeaser etzoncha Kaasher bashamayim kam ba'arez Et lechem chokeinu tein lanu hayom Bless the household of Israel wherever they dwell. Be with us here where we worship you in freedom. And may those who live under oppressive rule find release and liberty speedily in our day. May our faith. May your favor rest upon Israel, her land, her people. Protect her against hatred and war. Grant that the promise of her beginning may ripen into fulfillment. 
bringing comfort to those who seek refuge, light to those who dwell in darkness, new hope to all humanity. This we ask in the precious name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And now we rise, if we're able to, and we join together in the chanting of the Eleinu. Aleinu l'shabeach, la'adon ha'kol, la'tet k'dula le'yotzer b'reishit, shelo asanu k'goye ha'aratzot, velo zamanu k'mishpachot ha'adama, shalom zam chelkeinu kahem, v'gohor aleinu k'chol ha'monam, v'anachnu As we prepare to do the mourner's cottage, keep in mind that we do so with reverence to Hashem, honoring Him, knowing that He will restore and bring resurrection to all those who pass. Yit kadal ve'yit kadash shemei raba. Amen. Ve'alma divera kirutei ve'yamlich malchutei ve'yatzmach purkanei Yeshua Meshiche. Amen. Bechayechon uviomechon uvechae de Holbet Israel, Bagala uvisman kariv veimru. Amen. Um, Would you like to read it in English? Sure, that would be great. Um, do you want me to go back to the beginning of? Okay, there we go. May his great name grow exalted and sanctified in the world that he created as he willed. May his kingdom reign, may his redemption sprout, and may he hasten the coming of Yeshua, his Messiah. In your lifetimes and in your days and in the lifetimes of the entire family of Israel, swiftly and soon. May his great name be blessed forever and ever, blessed, praised, glorified, exalted, extolled, mighty, upraised, and lauded. Be the name of the Holy One, blessed is he. Amen. Beyond any blessing and song, praise and consolation that are uttered in the world. Amen. 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 May there be abundant peace from heaven and life upon us and upon all Israel. May he who makes peace in his heights, may he make peace upon us and upon all Israel. Amen. Amen. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Amen.
Shalom. Let us join together as we lift our glasses, our wine, in praise to God for the fruit of the vine, the sweetness that is going to remind us of this beautiful, warm, and rejoiceful Shabbat and of the perfect week to come. So Rabbi, to everyone who helped us and put together this wonderful Shabbat worship, this Kabbalah Shabbat, we say and raise our cups. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Peri HaGefen, Amen. L'chaim. Rabbi, your microphone is off. I'm sorry. I didn't want to interrupt the services in any way, shape, or form. That's why it was off. What a great, great numbers we have today. You know, tonight, we actually had more people watching Kabbalah Shabbat than Shabbat morning Shacharit. I am, I am amazed <laughs> to see the services on Kabbalah Shabbat. People start to understand the beauty and the importance of receiving the Shabbat properly. Rabbi, and, I think it was all of Reuben's family. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he brought a couple of those Dutch, but I think they already went long to bed. 
Um, but guys, uh, thank you, uh, Aaron. It's great. Uh, Elitsu. Elitsu, I understand tomorrow you're taking a Shabbat off from Aftara. Yes. That's it. good. One Shabbat. Just one Shabbat, Rob. I'll be right uh, back. Yeah. I know. Be fire. I was a little surprised. Tomorrow is Isaiah chapter 6. It's a big, big, yes, it uh, is. big week. And we have with us some of the fabulous crew for the Aftara tomorrow. So I'm very excited, but uh, thank you, Aaron, for being here, Morel, it's all for you as well. Uh, wishing you, your family, Shabbat Shalom. Definitely Shabbat Shalom. And if you don't know the good news, the good news is that uh, this upcoming week is a huge week that is going to be for us as an organization. Peter is adding down east. Not to Jerusalem, not that far. He's going to make a pit stop in uh, Florida. And we are going to start to record. I hope we can get the recording completely done, but I don't know. It's a lot of work. It's actually quite a lot of work. The Boikala uh, uh, Sidur. People ask me all the time, when do you think it's going to be released? Uh, I don't know. But if I would guess, it's not going to be before June, July time frame. Honestly, if I am to guess somewhere in the middle of this year, because it's going to take a tremendous amount of work to put it all together. The commentary, the music, the mixing, the publication. Uh, and as you notice, as an organization, we, we don't like to do things halfway. It have to be the standard of the Jewish world, which actually, when we talk about things like that, the standard is quite high. It's quite high. Talking about upgrade, you know, we're going to, Chazan uh, uh, Golden, we're going to do a big upgrade project. If anybody wants to support that, I'll be very happy. I take it as a personal project to upgrade Rabbi Bernstein to the 20th century, not 21st to the 20th century with his technology. So we're going to look into getting very, he's already very handsome already the way he is, but we're going to make him more handsome. We're going to get him a new camera. We're going to get him some new microphones. We're going to get him to the, to the next level because uh, these messages on the Friday night are so important. So Hazar Golden, uh, thank you uh, for being here for tomorrow and may Hashem give you much great atzlacha, much great success in uh, the week week to come uh, in Florida with Pastor Matt of course thank you so much and Shabbat Shalom friends we are gr greatly appreciative that you are here this is amazing to see almost 200 cities on Kabbalah Shabbat it's a beautiful beautiful thing touch my heart to see that and uh, I hope that these services is a blessing to you. And if they are a blessing to you, please, friends, nothing is free. Even Yeshua gift to us was not for free. He had to pay the price. And I tell you this, a lot of people are working to make these services a reality for you week in and week out. So as the Lord lead you, please, Shabbat is a time to give. Shabbat is a good day. It's the best day of the week to give. And if you're being fed spiritually here, day in and day out, don't come empty-handed. Seriously, learn the culture of Israel. And uh, the culture of Israel is a, is a culture of giving. So you have the link here if you don't want to give to this fund, which is our general fund. There are many, many other funds that are uh, requiring uh, right now your immediate support, actually, with all the projects that are taking place. Also, tomorrow, make yourself a note. It's going to be special shiur from Parashat Itro, Messiah's chain reaction. We're going to look into an important unfolding of events from the Torah portion as related to the Geula. Tomorrow we are starting 8 o'clock. And matter of fact, tomorrow Rabbi Bernstein will be with me at 8 o'clock. 
to talk about the Ten Commandments, the the Ten Words. We're going to talk about this tomorrow in the morning, a shiur that is unforgettable. You do not want to miss tomorrow morning. Uh, the shiur Torah, it's Matan will be with us. There is a special praise and worship with Matan and Noach together taking place. Friends, we keep on getting great reviews. The Besora according to COVID-19. I do have a request from you, do however, this evening. We are just in the final stages of releasing the French book, the French publication. We need more momentum. We need to get the word out. I'm asking you to support it today by sharing the link and leaving the review. Here are some reviews, and then I'll tell you how you can leave the review in a way that is impactful. The book is available in English, Spanish, and here around the corner in French. Check it out. Friends, we need you to come alongside and spread the word. English is done. Release. Spanish is released. Next week, French, God willing, will be completely ready to be released. And we're looking to a way to even potentially print it inside France. We need you to pray with us. And believe for that. Believe for this opportunity. Also, the book also available on a Kindle now. Completely, uh, this full edition available on Kindle. So what is it that you need to do today is we need your reviews. We need to hear from you how the book is touching you, impacting you, what the Spirit of God is leading you to do from this book and so forth. So today I'm asking you to go to Amazon and we just sell the candle version on Amazon, but leave the review on the Besorah according to COVID-19. This way others will be able to see it. The words have to get out quickly. It's have to get out quickly and it's just now the beginning, because in a few weeks, we're going to announce the next release and the next release and so forth. So again, it's available for everybody worldwide today. Get your hands on the book. Thank you so much for being here with us. Tomorrow, Shabbat will be an amazing, absolutely a delightful day. And this evening we have with Avrav, Dr. Stephen Bernstein, who is going to give us the Devar Musa. And look at this pay face, good looking face. The days are numbered. We are going to get him in the best camera and the best microphone. So he will be able to be heard loud and clear. I know a lot of you have been complaining to me. Where is he? Well, he's not in the moon, he's in Florida. You can visit his shul. But we are uh, part of the renovation of the synagogue. Virtual synagogue means that we're going to upgrade all the capabilities. 
and that's going to include uh, what we're doing on Friday night. So with that being said, Ray, I'm going to turn it to uh, Dr. Bernstein to give us the word for uh, Erev Shabbat, Parashat Itro. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. I uh, wanted to uh, take a moment this, this Shabbat uh, where we look at uh, arguably one of the most important uh, parshiot of, of the Torah, uh, Parshat Yitro, because in it, uh, Israel receives the Debrayah. Israel receives the word of Hashem. And this is commonly called the Ten Commandments uh, in English, uh, but uh, in, in, in Hebrew, it's just called the word of God the Debraya, written on the sapphire tablets and uh, uh, brought down the mountain. Now, there's, in the Torah scrolls themselves, when you look at them, uh, these commandments are not broken out with Roman numerals, one, two, three, I, V, V, and it, does, it doesn't work like that. It's not even uh, lettered in, in Hebrew. They're, they're just thrown out there it's almost like they're mixed in with all of the other commandments, of the other 603 commandments that are in the Torah. And consequently, because people have looked at the scrolls through history and from different cultures and different ideas and different backgrounds, um, when you list the Ten Commandments, you don't necessarily list them the same way. There's a, the, the, the Jewish way, which I will share with you, um, that actually makes sense is that that's how the tablets are, stru are structured. And then uh, in Christianity, there's a couple of different ways. So when we look at these particular commandments, the first real question should be, why are these 10 commandments so special? We've got lots of very special commandments that aren't part of the Ten Commandments, right? Yeshua said, you know, you've got uh, Prussian, you've got Pharisees asking him, what's the most important commandment? And he says, Shema Yisrael, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, whole, all your soul, and all of your uh, strength, and more so. That's not part of the Ten Commandments. And almost as important, you should love your neighbor as yourself. Well, that's not part of the Ten Commandments. So why are the Ten Commandments the Ten Commandments? Here's the thing. We really have to look at these Ten Commandments not as commandments themselves. They are commandments. But if we look at them more as categories of commandments, it makes a great deal of sense. In fact, if you look at these commandments as categories of commandments, every one of the other commandments fits into one of these categories. This is an incredibly important thing to understand. These are all of the commandments in the Torah by category. Now, it's broken down even more than that. There's categories of categories, and that's what Yeshua was talking about. Right? Yeshua is asked, What's the most important commandment? Love God. And almost as important, love your neighbor. Under those two commandments hang all of the other commandments. Now, they hang through the categories of the Ten Commandments. Okay? If you look at them, if you count them, if you list them the Jewish way which is like this. So if you're looking at the Sapphire Scrolls uh, uh, tablets, right? The ones that uh, Moshe Rabbeinu brought down the mount, the 10, not the ones that Dudley Moore brought down and dropped five of them, different commandments. You look at the 10, you get the first five on one side and they are, I am the Lord your God. No other... God's before me, no graven images, all of that. Shall not take the name of the Lord, Leshava, which is casually. 
remember Shabbat and honor your mother and father. Now that's one side, that's the first five. That's the first five, okay? The second five on the other tablet, if you will, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, and you shall not covet. That that's rounds it out. That's the other side. Okay? So if you look at these, if you look at these, the first five commandments are all categories that fall under the general category of love God. The second five all fall under the category of love your neighbor as yourself. Right? Don't murder. Don't commit adultery, don't steal, uh, don't bear false witness, don't covet. That's how you that's how you're supposed to love your neighbor. Don't do those things. How are we supposed to love God? Recognize first commandment. He is the Lord our God. Period. That's the first commandment. Recognize that. Okay? Second, no graven images. No other gods before him. No, no, he's, he's it. Okay? His name is special. You don't take his name casually. You don't just lay it out there. Remember the Sabbath day? And honor your mother and father. So all of the other commandments really hang on these commandments. Okay? For instance... Uh, if we're to pick a, a commandment, let's pick the commandment uh, for seven days, you shall eat matzah. Well, this is, of course, a commandment that we have during Pesach, during, during uh, Passover, that for seven days we eat matzah. So is this part of the Ten Commandments? And the answer is yes, because it falls under the category of designated times, of Moadim. And the Moadim are part of the Ten Commandments because it says, remember the Sabbath day. And that's the most important and most pronounced of the, of the, uh, of the Moadim. So that includes Pesach, and it includes Sukkot, and it includes Shavuot, right? It includes Rosh Hashanah, it includes all of those things. Remember the Sabbath day. Okay, what else? Well, if you harm someone, you are to pay them back plus 20%. Now, this is a commandment in the Torah. You're to pay them back plus 20%. But is it in the Ten Commandments? The answer is, of course it is. It's in the commandment you will not steal. See, that's the general category, right? And if you've wronged someone, you not only have to recompense them, but you have to also give them a penalty, 20%. And that's in the Torah. And that's how we avoid stealing. If you've done something wrong, you uh, uh, compensate your neighbor, and you love your neighbor, you pay the 20% penalty, and you're good to go. Okay? So this is under the category, you shall not steal. So every single one of the Torah commandments fall into the category of each of these, of the Ten Commandments of the Dibrayah, of the Word of God, which these all fall under the category that Yeshua told us, love God and love your neighbor. So we have the two commandments, the 10 commandments, and the 613 commandments. And they're all the same. It's all the same thing. Okay? If you count the, the, the commandments properly, you start getting into different countings of the commandments and it messes it all up because it, it came from cultures later and all of that kind of stuff. Okay? So we stick with the Jewish understanding of, of the commandments and how they are laid out, and it becomes quite clear. Now, here's the part of Musa. The second five commandments are all about loving your neighbor as yourself. 
The first five are all about loving God, but the second five are all about loving your neighbor as yourself. And this is why when Yeshua is asked, what's the most important commandment? What Yeshua says is love God. Because if you don't love God, you cannot love your neighbor. Almost as important is love your neighbor as yourself. Now, when Yeshua was among us, the biggest problem within Israel was that we were not loving our neighbors. Not by a long shot. The temple was destroyed for sinat finam, for baseless hatred. Josephus writes uh, in, in, in his uh, work, The Antiquities of the Jews, that we killed more of each other than the Romans killed of us in the siege of Jerusalem. Disgraceful. We had 10 years worth of food. Well, this group didn't like that group, so they burned their food. And then they got upset, and they burned somebody else's food. And we, we ended up killing ourselves. We killed ourselves. Baseless hatred. And this is what Yeshua came and, and, and talked to us about. If you pay attention, his big thing was how we treated each other. That was his big message. He didn't come and say, no, you're doing the sacrifices in the temple all wrong. Now, he didn't come and say, no, the calendar, the Sanhedrin is telling you the calendar is all wrong. He didn't say that. In fact, he said the opposite. Right? He said the Torah teachers and the Pharisees Sit in the seat of Moses. You should do everything they say. Be careful to do everything they say. But, but what? But don't do what they do because they don't even follow what they're, on, they're, they're saying. They're treating each other horribly. They are the source of the sinat chinam. They are the source of the baseless hatred. Don't do what they're doing. Do what they say, but don't do what they do. And oh boy, if you're a teacher, and if you're listening to this, you're a teacher. If you're a follower of Yeshua, Yeshua instructs us to go out to the nations and teach. Matthew 28, this is what he says. Teach everything I've commanded you. So you're supposed to go out and teach. So we build a following. Thank you for trusting what I'm saying and Rav Shapira and all of the people at the, of Atami. Thank you for trusting us enough that you're here, you're listening. But guess what? I'm a human being. Okay. If you put your faith in me, I will fail you. I guarantee it. I don't want to. This is not a goal of mine. But if you put your faith in me, I will fail you. I guarantee it. We're to put our faith in Yeshua. We put our faith in Hashem. Okay? Listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. Okay? I pray that they're right words. I pray that they're good. I think so. That's why I'm saying them. Okay? But don't have faith in me, have faith in what I'm saying. Just like the Torah teachers, just like the Pharisees. Be careful to do everything that they say. But don't have faith in me. Don't worship me. Don't follow me. Listen to what I'm saying. It's good. And this is how we should treat everybody. There is only one God, and him we worship. There's only one Messiah, and him we have faith. Okay? Other than that, we go out and we do the best teaching we can, and we learn from the best teachers that we can. But we don't worship them. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Dr. Bernstein. Great word for us today. What an important word for us. And tomorrow we will be discussing in detail in the morning, Shabbat morning, Torah classes at 8 a.m. You don't want to miss them, friends. Very special class we have tomorrow. We'll, we'll have with us uh, Rabbi Bernstein tomorrow morning again for a very special class with me. And um, really important Musa Shiur Torah on the Aserta Dibor tomorrow coming in the morning.
I hope you receive it. I hope you love this Devar Musa. I hope God is speaking to you, ministering to you. Now we want you to go, friends. We want you to go right now. Leave the review of the Bessera according to COVID-19. Get the word out. Help us get the word out before we release the next release next week, God willing. And especially I want to say something to the Spanish-speaking community. I've been quite disappointed at the response of the lack of response from the Spanish-speaking community who uh, we went through so much labor to get get this translated to Spanish. I continue to say I'll never do anything in Spanish and I keep on doing it and I'm keep on getting disappointed. If you're watching me and you are a Spanish speaker, I want to remind you something. We have a full-blown yeshiva that operates in Spanish, but we need those who speak Spanish to take the, the, the link on the screen. This week we got the books into Colombia, El Salvador, Mexico, but it's nearly not enough. It's nearly not enough. So we got to get the word out to our Spanish speakers. Brothers and sisters, wake up, Spanish speakers. It is time, and all of us right now, we need to understand everything physically have a spiritual meal to it. And that's why this book is so great, because it gives you the roadmap for the days ahead. So thank you again for getting the reviews, getting the word around. This is what you Shabbat Shalom. May the Mighty One bless you and may you go in peace. What a beautiful Shabbat we're going to have together. Amen, amen. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shalom, friends. My name is Rabbi Yitzhak Shapira, and I would like to tell you about my new book, The Besora According to the COVID-19. During this season, the time that you and I are alive, we are like in the middle of a storm, just like today. We don't know what will happen next. We don't understand all the forces that are working behind the scenes. And for that purpose, I released after many years a new book. This is a book that was prepared for this day, for this time, and for this season. I received a revelation and I've seen a code in Torah, in the Word of Moses, in the Prophets, for this time for you. You are a prophetic people and you will fulfill prophecy in this time if you know what is the purpose behind the COVID-19? Why God brought this COVID-19? And what is the outcome that you and I can have if we choose to obey Him during this time? It is true, there is a lot of calamity and pain and suffering during this time. But as you learn from the Torah, from the prophets, it's true this calamity that God is preparing the final episode of salvation. In the book, I outline a complete roadmap and plan for the end time. And I invite you to read the book, go to this website, Good News COVID-19, and get ready. God preparing you for this time, for this season, to fulfill end time prophecies that he has for you. We wish upon all of you Shabbat Shalom. We are going to see you tomorrow morning. Leave you with a little bit of taste of Jerusalem. May we all prepare for the coming of Mashiach in Jerusalem. New song from Noach Shapira, Jerusalem Mix. Shabbat Shalom. See you tomorrow. La, 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 la,
up, up, up. We got this. In the shoot, the smells of sizzle. Pita bread, olive oil, drizzle. Shish kebab and Jerusalem mix. Hummus and chips, and that's the way you do it. I walk in the path of a Jerusalem street. I listen to the Arab boys drummer beats. I see the spirit, Messiah, by the culture when we put those prayers. Hey! It's time for Israel to return. It's time for them to return. Yeshua's coming soon. Yeah, he's coming soon. Praying at the Kotel. Boom. Hey. Let's return, Israel. Hey. Let's return. I'm Israel. Hi. Boom. Jerusalem mix. Oh, Jerusalem mix. Let's do that dance. It's called the Jerusalem mix. I hear that Arab boys drum up beat and I say maybe one day he'll know Yeshua Yes, I know it's happening All those who don't believe will believe And we will be praying at the Kotel as one Because as they say in the Bible Every nation, every tribe and every tongue hey, hey. Like the angel in Zechariah 2.6 I'm all up in that Jerusalem mix Prophecies are being fulfilled We're trying to do God's will We're asking all the Yeladim to pray Because Yeshua is coming back one day We want the strength to do what's right Do the Jerusalem mix tonight Jerusalem mix, Jerusalem mix Like the angel, we are in the Jerusalem mix Jerusalem mix, Jerusalem mix Yeshua is coming back one day Jerusalem mix, yeah 